Hi friends, this is a short video on what you need to do if uh, you fail the CKA or uh, CCAD uh, test. So normally when you enroll for uh, this Kubernetes uh, certification exams, CKA, that is the administration exam and the developer CCAD exam. So they give you two attempts. So contrary to what um, most of the competitive exams are, uh, Kubernetes exams, they give you two attempts. So if you really fail in uh, both the attempts, then definitely there is some uh, correction that is uh, needed. So I came across a person who failed in uh, their first attempt, meaning like they paid 150 and odd bucks and uh, they failed in uh, both attempts. And again, they went and registered for their uh, second exam. Meaning like again they paid uh, 300 bucks or so and registered. And again they failed in their third attempt. Which means they have only one more attempt uh, left before they get uh, certified. So what happens is generally uh, the human mentality is that if we fail we want to try again. Now those who have played like uh, games like uh, Digger on a computer long ago or some, some even in the recent future also. If you start failing in the uh, the game, as you keep on playing again and again, your performance keeps uh, dropping down. Same will be the case with all these uh, certification exams. So if you fail uh, two times, definitely, which it, it means it means that some correction is needed at uh, your end. Either your preparation is not uh, good enough, or practice is not uh, good enough. But one thing I want to tell you before we uh, delve deeper into this uh, matter is that people who have failed in this uh, CKA, especially the CKA exam, have been on Kubernetes for quite a long time. So they have been working with Kubernetes on bare metal, meaning like uh, they use tools like Rancher and others to install uh, Kubernetes and they have been uh, definitely the rolling out fixes and supporting the environment, but they have not been able to get through this uh, exam. Which means that this exam is really tough and it is of good uh, standard. So you can take heart at the fact that people who have been working on Kubernetes for a long period of time have been failing also. So which means that it's not the end of the road. And always remember that the certification exams would help you in getting an interview. They may not help you on the job, for the, but any certification for that matter. You know, when I used to take certifications earlier also, people used to tell me, the recruiter used to tell me, that certification will get you an interview, but they may not be helping you on the job. So if you want to get, get noticed, that's when you need this uh, certification on the top. Whenever you put your CK or CCAD logo, definitely it adds value. So I am not ridiculing any certification. Even I myself am a CKA. So I am not ridiculing the exam. What I am trying to tell you is if you fail, don't think that it is the end of the road. Don't keep on trying again and again. Waste your money. So if you fail two times, go back and practice. See what is wrong with you. See if the course that you took is uh, shortcoming. Go to the Linux Foundation um, courses. See if they can help you in perform in a better way. So, and also, if you go to Kubernetes.io, the default documentation for uh, Kubernetes, even there, they direct you to free labs where you can go and uh, practice. So, you no longer have to set up your own environment. So the main challenge in uh, Kubernetes, when I was trying to learn Kubernetes right from like a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, was setting up the environment. So I took up the longest possible route wherein I had to install um, VirtualBox and then uh, create a VMs and then install uh, Kubernetes and ensure that all these VMs um, spoke to each other, communicated to each other. And a lot of time was wasted on that. So now with so many providers for uh, Kubernetes, so you have Amazon's uh, EKS, then Google Cloud Provider, 
so you can register uh, for can open and get an email account and try to fiddle around with uh, google cloud without paying much of uh, money so they give you $300 credit so you can develop you can create a cluster and practice or also there are a lot of free labs online where you can go to documentation and uh, practice take some uh, other uh, dummy exams and see where you stand so don't immediately go for second uh, exam and register and uh, waste your time and also if you fail in your first attempt don't immediately go for second attempt one of my friends also failed in that fashion also i, I did caution him i don't don't be reckless and try to take it again but uh, he didn't pay here and again he failed so if you fail in the first attempt meaning you, you paid uh, 300 300 dollars and got some concession and uh, registered for the exam and if you failed in the first attempt don't immediately go on a right second time you don't think that you will again pass so go back practice see where you really went wrong recollect all the questions where you may not have got the answer discuss with uh, friends of course you can't reveal the exam questions but at least you can go through all the documentation so i when i when i wrote the exam i took one shot the monambat's uh, course so earlier it used to be like a single course and you keep on trying now they have also uh, become like uh, they want to provide only for short term so most of the people who are serving out um, kubernetes uh, courses they are only giving you for the short term meaning like you paid 20 or 20 odd bucks 30 odd bucks per month and go for uh, registering for a year or so so do whatever works for you but don't be reckless and immediately try a uh, second time if you fail the first time and again and if you fail two attempts don't go and try try this exam again so it's not going to work so that's what uh, i wanted to caution people so you go to the kubernetes.io documentation go to the link and see you can see a lot of providers you can see a lot of uh, free labs you can have an idea about all the documentation that is to be used you can practice docker and then you can go ahead uh, with this uh, path so we'll be publishing more uh, videos on uh, kubernetes and other ancillaries keep Please stay subscribed and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks. Bye. Friends, please wear your mask at all times. Don't go out unnecessarily. That's the way you can stop the spread of COVID.
Thanks for watching. In the video, like, share,